and welcome back to some more creepy ass music which we enjoy and we will listen to this the whole episode enjoy i'm just kidding greetings everybody my name is crims and i'm back here with this defeated spore boss and you can as you can see when you wall jump on him he vibrates like that shakes that's a, such a cool detail that they actually put that in and the music still continues even though you've beaten the boss which is, uh, you know, unusual for Metroid games. And this thingy is very dangerous. I actually got stuck in it. <laughs> and you fall down! No! But if you make yourself into a ball and do this, you can slow your fall. I usually make myself into a ball and just keep on laying bombs. And down here we find the super missile. Now well, this is power in its uh, definition. Now, we could take that way, but I'm gonna take the more fun way of going back up here, like this. But actually, you can't do that. Because uh, those um, special blocks, you can only pass through them from uh, above. You can't go you know, up, or you can't break them from below. Now, let me show you the true strength of the super missile. Boom! It makes the whole screen shake and monsters fly down from the ceiling. Oh, that was actually a pretty nice shot. If I do say so myself. This thing is actually a super missile. And blow it up like that. Now we're back in this vertical room. And before we progress uh, downwards, I'm gonna jump up here. And take something that we skipped. Also, I want to clear the whole map. As you can see on the top right corner, we have the map there. And that's just, that's just so good that they, they implemented that have a little mini map. So, yeah, you're not supposed to be up here until you get the grapple beam, as you can see by those things up there. But I want to get this right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I said before that I'm going to keep this spoiler free, but it seems like I'm not doing that because I, like, I spoiled the grapple beam and such. So please uh, forgive me for being... Uh... Fuck, I still... I always forget that word, what is it? You say something, like, you, you will never do this, but you still do it. It's like, something with age, like, hypo... Hypocritical or something. I always forget that word. Maybe you could tell me in the comments below. Another missile there. We have so much of them. Or max capacity. Down here is another little mini secret. It's the charge beam. But that's not all. There's actually a secret here as well. But we need something else for that. I'm not gonna spoil that one. <laughs> Although the icon might have, you know, revealed what it is. This room is so cool. Flying shits will come after you. But I'm gonna try it. No, wait. There is a, a jello door there, which we can't open up. So never mind that one. So the short beam is like this. And when you spin it like that, you can do a spin attack and be, uh, you know, invulnerable against enemies because you hit them. Now, here's another secret up here. Now, I, I actually found that uh, on my own, the first, not the first time I played it, but, you know, I found this without walkthrough. I was fucking around in the game and I found this and I was like, what? Hey, brothers, come and look at this. And they're like, yeah, right. So that was a very fun day. So I like to short up the beam and just jump into enemies. I love that explosion animation. They blow into bits. Let's do this and jump. Poof. So satisfying. And it's free. I mean, this is the same strength as a, a normal missile. You can short it up. And go up here and you need to run over. I didn't know about that when I was uh, little. I did this, I just ran normally and you f fall down. You need to hold B in order to run faster. And that way, pass through it. You see, even though you waste your ammunition on enemies like that, uh, you know, the missiles, you still get them back. So you're not technically wasting so much, most of the time. I mean, they're there for usage, but you always want to keep at least 10 so you can go, you know, through doors that are locked. 
Oh, this music is so nice. I think this is called Swamp Area or something. But it's like one of my favorite places in the game. The redness, it's so cool. The background, that glowy thing. And the music is so good. Okay, so normally you would go down, down here and progress. And you can't jump up here because it's too high. But with the wall jump, you actually can. So I'm actually gonna go up here now and get something before progressing with the normal shit. I said there's, there's going to be you no know, sequence breaks in the game, so. Let's see, I need to kill that guy and that. No, fuck, I missed him. Okay, now he, dead. he be dead. He be dead, boy. Let's see, this should be two more of them, right? Yes, fuck, I missed it. I don't think I can kill that last one. Okay, I need to open that one up. And then, shit, I think I failed. No, so close! Okay, give me a couple more tries. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to when I beat it. Yay, I beat it! Woo! Now that's what I call pure skills. Yeah, yeah. So we're not supposed to be up here, of course. So let's see what happens. Exploring dangerous territory. You see, this place is much more dangerous because they think that you would be more experienced with the game. But no worries. We can deal with this. And just shoot. You see, these doors, we can't open them. But down here is something that we will get that will make this whole ordeal much easier. These creatures are so cool. I think you can only see them here. They spawn in their little carapace or whatever it's called. Oh shit, this is not good. We cannot pass these easily. So we need to get hit. No worries. And here it is. The power bomb! You're not supposed to get this now, so it's very nice to have it. And they will blow up um, the yellow doors. And if you use one right here, blow up the wall and get a missile! You see, this game is just full packed with different ways to play it and secrets and everything. So satisfying. Doesn't matter how many times you play it. See if we can make a jump roll, but no, we couldn't. No, we got stuck in this guy! Shit! Damn it. Luckily, there is a save point. Pretty close. Oh, we got our power bomb back, so that's good. So here it is. So we can just jump up like this, place a power bomb, and kill the enemy and the door at the same time. You see, we still we can't jump up here. Just we need to wall jump it. Oh, we killed that guy as well. Well, shit. Blow up that door. And we will go in here because the next room is very, very dangerous. I only have one energy tank, so we shall see how this one goes. What? They respawned? Already? Well, I got my super missile back, so that's good. Fuck <laughs> It's just barely you, c you can make it, but you I mean, barely you can't make it. Now, before we head in there, there's another secret right here. Which doesn't lead anywhere, because it's a door that you need to open with a super missile from that side. And there is no way to shoot the missile like that. It would be very cool though. Oh, I think I got it! No? Never mind. I mean the speed, the fast ball movement. Okay, so we're gonna be ready with missiles here. I'm gonna spam the shit! These be dangerous! And you need to kill them as well. Okay, good. Don't try to kill them with the normal... Okay, good. Did not get damaged. Now, this floor can be broken with the power bomb. And the whole floor can be broken, as you can see. And it will reveal these creatures. But if we drop the bomb up there, it will only destroy for the first guy, see? Then you wanna. Why would you want to do this? Well, it's a secret right there. Of course, it's a secret. Not a power bomb. So now we have 10 of them in max capacity. Good stuff. Now be wary that these side things will still hurt you. 
uh, you see these little mini roots on the side, they hurt you. Watch out for that guy. You see, now the bridge is still whole here and you are safe. This is more like a walkthrough with secret breaks, so I'm sorry if this is not what people want to see, but this is how, this is the way I do it. And there are several commentaries on this game, Let's Plays and whatnot, so if you want to see a normal one, <laughs> there's plenty to choose from. And this is not the last time I make commentary over this game. I really shit doubt that. This is a game I can replay how shit so many times. Oh damn it, I might be dying here, Tom. He's gonna keep my short jump. Yeah. Oh, there's a 20 health. There we go. And with that, we're back here, and we're gonna continue on normally. Make yourself into a bot. You can't blow all these up, which is quite annoying. And you need to wall jump the whole way up. And then destroy the thing here. But no. So, um... That's it for this sequence breaking episode. Thank you very much for watching, good folks. And I will see you on the next part. Take care.